Hi guys and welcome to Old School Hunter for the second part of my video series on how I built my animated witch cauldron. In the previous part I showed you how I created the base of the witch cauldron and I will provide the link for this video at the end. In the second part I will show you how I create the shell of the witch cauldron and this outer shell will be robust and weatherproof and for this reason I will use a fiberglass mat and epoxy resin. And at the end I will add some paint so it looks like a cool old cauldron. I have used the same technique in a previous cauldron project and I had some very good results with that and this is why I want to show you. So let's go and make this thing look like a cauldron. To create the hot shell of the cauldron I use a fiberglass mat with 300 gram per square meter so it's a little bit thicker and some epoxy resin. And I use epoxy resin because it doesn't melt the styrofoam which I use as the base for the cauldron. It's not the cheapest way but you know I got some very good results in my last cauldron project. This is a two component epoxy resin so you have the epoxy resin itself and then you have the hardener and both components get mixed together in ratio 2 by 1 in my case and it is measured by weight. Then you need a simple kitchen scale, wrap it in some foil so you don't mess it up. Then a simple cup to mix everything together and of course, very important, some gloves so the epoxy resin doesn't stick to your hands. Before I start mixing the epoxy resin, I tear off some pieces from the large fiberglass mat and use your hands and the pieces are about 20 by 20 centimeters. Just tear them off so you get this nice frayed border here and you can overlap the single pieces very well at the end. Create more pieces than you think you need so you don't get in trouble with hardening of the epoxy resin at the end. All right, now it's time to mix the epoxy resin. Just take the kitchen scale and the cup. Make sure it shows zero and don't mix up too much epoxy resin at the beginning. Um, I usually mix uh, 50 to 100 gram and this time I will mix 50 gram and this means 50 gram of epoxy resin and 25 gram of hardener because it's a 2 to 1 ratio. So let's add the 50 gram of epoxy resin. And now add the 25 gram of hardener. And now it's time to mix everything together. If it looks a little bit milky, then it's not mixed correctly. Just keep on mixing. And in the end, we'll get a nice clear looking epoxy resin. So when I glue the fiberglass mat on the surface, I take a cheap brush and add some epoxy resin on the surface. Then I take the fiberglass mat, put it in the epoxy resin and then I drench the fiberglass mat in epoxy resin and make sure it is soaked full of epoxy resin so it glues nicely to the surface. So when working with epoxy resin you have a working time uh, in my case it is 30 to 45 minutes and if you go over this time the epoxy resin will get sticky 
don't use it anymore, throw it away and mix up some new. Alright, when adding the next piece of fiberglass mat, make sure that the new part piece overlaps the previous one. So you get a nice connection between those two pieces. half time while doing the fiber glassing and I'm done with the fiber glassing from here down to about the half of the cauldron all the way around and in this section here you have a nice hard shell at this point. So next up I will flip the cauldron around so that it's right up and then I can do the fiber glassing in this sections here and around the top edge. So right at the top edge everything is getting a little bit complicated because I have to glue the fiberglass mesh down here and then we have those two roundings here. And the idea is to take such small stripes of fiberglass mat and then put the fiberglass mat down here and put it into the roundings. And to make it work I will drench the fiberglass mat with epoxy resin beforehand and then it's easier for me to put the fiberglass mat into place. So this is my workbench, some old wood with a um, protection foil around it. And the idea is to put two layers of fiberglass mat. The top one will be drenched with epoxy resin and the one underneath will soak the rest, which goes through this one. And you have to be fast because 30 minutes are over very fast. So if you put enough epoxy resin onto the fiberglass mat, it's time to go to the cauldron. So here comes the fiberglass mat, branched with epoxy resin and then simply put it into the top edge. Then you take such a paint roll here. Take a very cheap one because you throw this one away afterwards. And then you can use this and position the fiberglass mat very nicely. So here we need some more resin. Don't forget the inside. I decided to add a second layer of fiberglass. Um, maybe one layer should be enough, but I decided to add a second layer because it adds a little bit more strength to the surface. But you can go with one layer. I think this should be enough. So anyway, I now use the sanding block again and smooth out the surface and I only remove the parts which stand up from the fiberglassing.
So all right, I'm done with sanding the fiberglass mat and the surface is very smooth at this point. If you're happy with the result, just leave it this way and you can skip the next step I'll show you. I have some smaller holes and some larger deepings which I want to fill and therefore I use this filler from the hardware store which you also use for cars and boats and so on. And using this I roughly go over the surface. Uh, I don't want to smooth the surface completely, I just want to fill the holes and the larger deepings at this point. So all right, the filler has dried and now it's time to give the cauldron its final sanding. Therefore I use 120 grit sandpaper and I use dry sandpaper here and go over the surface to remove the rough parts from the filler and then I use some watered sandpaper to smooth the surface before the color is applied. After fiberglassing, sanding, filling the holes, sand it again, it's finally done. The outer shell is finished and now it's time to add some paint so that this thing looks like an old used witch cauldron. For the color I decided to let the cauldron look like an old metal iron cauldron with some rusty parts and therefore I use different layers of colors and this is what I want to show you now. So the first layer will be a red color and therefore I use acrylic paint here from the hot brush store and I don't use a brush to apply the color. I will use some old fabric here and I will water down the color a little bit and using the fabric you can easily apply the color in this way. Just use some gloves to protect your hands and you're ready to go. So after the red color has dried a little bit, it's time to add the next layer of color and therefore I use black acrylic paint 
and I will water down the paint a little bit and will use the fabric again to apply the paint to the surface. Alright, after adding two more layers of black paint, the result looks like this and I'm very happy with it. And in the deepings here you can see the red color which shines through the black color from underneath. And the black and the red color gives a very very nice effect when you add some light as you can see on the video. I hope you can see it. And I will leave it this way now. And now it's time to turn the cauldron around to paint the bottom side. Okay, I'm done with painting the outer shell and I shortly want to talk about two small details. And the first detail is something you can see in this area or here where you can see the red color. And these are parts of the outer shell which I don't fill completely after fiberglassing. And this gives you a nice cool effect that it looks like that some parts of the outer shell already broke away. And this gives you a nice cool used look. And the second thing is because I don't smooth the surface completely, you have this nice uneven surface and it looks like the cauldron is alive and it could tell many stories of many witch spells which go wrong in the past. So as a last step I will add a layer of matte clear coat now to seal the surface and then the topic of painting the outer shell is done. So the cauldron got its final painting and looks like a beautiful old used witch cauldron which can tell many many stories. In the color scheme of course there are no limits and you can definitely experiment a little bit because tastes are known to be different. The parts of hyperglassing, sanding, spatula are a little bit time consuming but from my point of view the effort is worth it because in the end you have a cauldron for a long long time. So let's talk about the weight quickly and I measured it and the cauldron weighs 15 kg at this point and it might sound a little bit much but I think 15 kg for a cauldron in this size are really good weight. At this point the cauldron would already be ready for its great use in the decoration for Halloween but for me 
the work really starts now because as the title of the video series tells you I'm going to build an Animated Witch Cauldron so in the next step I will put all the animatronics and controllers into the Witch Cauldron and what exactly this will be this is something I'm going to tell you in the next part of the video. My Halloween friends we reached the end of this video for today and if you like the video if you like the project please give me a thumbs up if you have questions, write them down in the comment section, but don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the further updates here on my channel. For today I say thanks for watching, see you next time and happy Halloween!